So I see 305 rocket. Is this the crazy one with the bigger engine? Oh yeah. Fire in the hole. Battery alternator on. November two, whiskey tango, minimum delay, runway two, one clear for takeoff. Rock and roll, boys. Here we go. All right, now just aim for those, aim for the end of the runway, aim for the numbers. Ooh, a little bit of wind coming off those buildings. And we're gonna slowly bring the nose back as we get close to the ground. Four, eight. Phoenix Mooney 252 is continuing. Like to request a full stop tax back at Sky Harbor, then VFR to Scottsdale. Oof, uh, rough timing on that one, Mooney. Uh... So they're gonna hold us until there's a gap, and then we're just gonna shoot in real quick. Awesome. What's going on JR Aviation? Welcome back to the channel. So we have an extra exciting video today because today our buddy Owen, SJC Spotter on Instagram is in town and he hits me up two days ago and he's like, hey Jeff, Chris, like you guys wanna go flying? I'll be in town, I'm picking up a plane. Let's uh, cruise around Phoenix and we're like, Yes, yes, we will take you up on that offer. Yes, so exciting. Jeffrey just told me like two days ago we would get to go flying. Should be such an adventure today. We have a lot planned. And better yet, what plane are we going flying in? One of my favorites. Even though I've never been in one, I've always loved just kind of checking the market on these and keeping up with this brand. And that is Mooney. Owen's gonna give us a whole walk around. It was just down in the valley here getting, I think a brand new paint job is why it was down here. And now he's taking it back up to California later today. But in the meantime, he said, uh, let's go cruising around in it. So this is going to be so much fun. He is flying in to here at Scottsdale any moment, literally we're like checking the skies because he should be like literally any minute here. And so this is gonna be super exciting. We're gonna be able to learn a lot from him. He's made a ton of progress in the industry despite being so young. He's got a job in aviation, he flies all the time and the amount of different planes he's flown, it's like mind blowing. So he's gonna have a ton of insight for you guys, so this will be super interesting and we'll learn a lot at the same time. Exactly, we're excited to share this with you all and we hope that Owen can uh, share some great information also. All right, I don't see him yet, so I think we beat him. So maybe we can catch him landing, uh, but if not, we'll meet up with him here at the terminal and get headed down to Chandler. We're gonna fly to Chandler and meet up with another one of his buddies and maybe do some helicopter flying, which would be a next video, Ooh. but super exciting day today. Let's get to it, hope you guys enjoy. No way, we just got out of the car and look who it is pulling up. Talk about perfect timing. Oh, look at all the jets over there. Got a Falcon 50, a new CJ4. Oh, all the planes over here. Oh, we got a Gulfstream G4. It's just so easily spottable, recognizable that it's him in that Mooney with the vertical, vertical tail. tail. Vertical tail, that's how you tell a Mooney from far away. So kind we could backwards compared to Cessna's Pipers. Oh, ooh, I hear a jet coming. I hear a jet coming. That's weird. A plane's going above overhead, but there goes a. That's also a Falcon, I think. Wow. That's so cool. And then you got a plane going right overhead. Scottsdale. Scottsdale has become such a busy airport. Literally, we love just plane spotting coming here because our warehouse is right over there, and we get to just watch planes take off and it's super fun. And that's how Owen uh, kind of started his Instagram, right? Uh, SJC Spotter, so right. plane spotting out of San Jose Airport, but there's some good ones coming in and out yep, of there. Yep, he's from the Bay Area. Mooney coming in quick. Oh, that's so cool. Perfect timing. All right, that was, that was too perfect, wow. too perfect, too perfect. Oh my goodness. And he literally just pulls up right in front of us. Oh, so a 305 rocket. Oh my goodness, this thing's gonna be quick. Oh, there he is, boom. All the way from Texas yesterday, California. right? California. California yesterday and Texas. Boom, traveling all over the country, guys. Keep up on his Instagram. It's literally every day you're going somewhere new and in like a new plane it seems. Oh yeah. Like, how many, do you know, have you keep track of how many planes you've flown? Oh no, I've lost track a long time Dozens? Ago. Oh. It's probably almost up to 100. It's, it's pretty high up there. Oh man, that's crazy. All right, we'll be talking about some cool stories. All right, Christian's got the backpack with all the GoPros in it yeah. and the adapters. Hopefully that's everything will work. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Boom. So, beautiful day for flying. There she is. So I see 305 Rocket. Is this the crazy one with the bigger engine? Oh yeah, this thing hauls ass. No way. That's right. Because the original came with like 200 or yep. something, just over 200, and this is over 300. Holy cow. Man. So this is the brand new paint job. First time flying with the new paint. All aboard. It'll be a little tight back there. Christian's taking the rear seat and on the way back we're swapping. He's gonna have to move that front seat up a little bit. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. There's a third Falcon. 
and time for me to get on in. Not too often you get three huge guys. <laughs> get the adapter set up, hopefully this works. And then here you can charge the camera if you have something to plug it into. Ah, so you don't need to swap the batteries. Well, the batteries should last long enough, short bite. Yeah. Fire in the hole. Battery alternator on. It's gonna be hot, so it won't need a lot of fuel. So quick prime. Can you hear me? Okay, you got me. All right. And how do you hear us back there? Awesome. Scottsdale ground, Mooney 252 is contained over at Transient. Information mic for VFR to Chandler. Mooney 252 is contained over at Transient. Runway 21, taxi via Alpha. Alpha runway 21, 252 is contained over. Yeah, hopefully by, uh, by tonight I'll be back home in San Jose, California. Wow. Luckily, all the weather's that way, but I'm going that way. Except yesterday I was going that way and that wasn't fun. Yeah, definitely not designed for 6'6 six, six people. Yeah. It's not. That's, uh, what, that's what the bananas for. Can you, can you talk back there? Oh, here we go. Check, check. Nope, can't hear you. Can you can you hear us through your headset? Yep. You, can, you can hear us, but you just can't uh, talk through it. Maybe the headset's busted. Private jets everywhere. Oh, yeah. So my buddy we're meeting up, his name's Austin. He's a great, he goes to ASU, he's our age and flies around in this nice R44, and uh, he's he's a, also a YouTube vlogger and a great photographer. Wow, And awesome. uh, he does a lot of fun stuff with this helicopter, and I've been trying to fly with him for a very long time, and today is finally the day, so I'm super stoked. Cool. How many feet do you think take off or before we're up? It'd, It'd probably be maybe 1,000, 1,500 feet. Dang. This thing will, well, I guess with three of us, I'd shoot for 2,000. We won't need a lot. If I wanted to reduce that, I could take off with, you know, flaps. Another big guy coming in. I'll wait to turn so you can get a good view of him. That is a, looks like a G2, G280. Then one of the newer. Oh, that's one of the new Embraer Legacies. Whoa. What a beauty. Falcon 10 over there. Ooh, do you see that? Yeah. Look at that. That looks like the one where the hangar door collapsed on it. Holy cow. Oh, shoot. I'm not sure. All right. Pull over to the side here. Hope there's a good spot to do my run up. Watch your legs, just make sure yep. you got full movement in the controls. Instruments, altimeter set, that's good, that's good, that's good. Sweet and zero. Uh, radios are good. The only thing I can do is put in Chandler. Got that. Gas, I'm on the right tank. I've got plenty of fuel. Uh, trim is set for takeoff. Run up I'm not going to do because I just flew. Um, now I'm going to take a quick look at the charts here and see exactly how we're going to get there. Uh oh. And 252 is Tango, hold short 21. Sir, 252 is Tango, Scottsdale Tower, hold short runway 21. Hold short 21, Whiskey Tango. Well, on a hot summer's day, get a little hot in here. Yes, that's why I like to leave the door open. It helps. Eventually. All right, let's get the show on the road, people. November 2, Whiskey Tango, minimum delay, runway 21, clear for takeoff, traffic next lands a mile final, Sears. All right, no delay, we're clear for takeoff, 2, one, uh, two Whiskey Tango. Rock and roll, boys. Here we go. All right, power set, airspeed's a lot. Jetlink 56 in your right turn, contact me, try to good flight. Contact me, try to good flight. Mooney 16 Mike, traffic to follow the Cessna, wing up left base, when able for traffic in sight. Okay, two Whiskey Tango, starting left turn. Okay, two Whiskey Tango, Roger, uh, left turn out is approved, and uh, no observed traffic, frequency change approved as well. Two Whiskey Tango, thank you. How we doing, boys? 
Alright, so I'm just working the power back. So here's my manifold pressure. This is that's what reads from the throttle and then RPM right here. Okay. So I'm setting it to about 28, 23, and then fuel flow should read about uh, 18. 2300 RPMs. All right, so very different from cars that oh, go yeah. to 8,000. <laughs> so we got information in Quebec for Chandler. First, I'm going to talk to you. are asking. I can talk to Falcon Field for transition through their airspace. Falcon Tower, Mooney 252 is getting over the canal like transition on our way to Chandler, please. Mooney 252, Falcon Tower, transition approved out or above 3,000. Falcon altimeter 2985. Transition approved out or above 3,000 to Escatango. All right, so he just cleared us through the airspace out of above 3,000. That's uh, Falcon Field. Uh, I just got to stay clear of uh, Mesa, and uh, we'll be there. Perfect. Mooney 2, Whiskey Tango, traffic in your 12 o'clock and one and a half mile northbound, 3,300 Centurion, Crescent, uh, Cherokee. Uh, look at Whiskey Tango. That Cherokee 2-3 really November, traffic uh, okay, off your left, 3,300, should pass behind you as a Mooney. See him right over here. Kind of yeah, that Cherokee 0-2-3 November is searching. Mooney 2-Whiskey uh, Tango, from, uh, traffic no factor. 2-Whiskey Tango. You want to see something cool? No. Yeah. So, something to know about these turbos, just like a car, I'm sure, is that you can't shot cool them. So pulling the power out abruptly is not good for the engine. So okay. w what that means is that you have to kind of plan your descent. So you have to do it ahead of time so you you can leave the power in and still descend without overspeeding. So the Mooney has speed brakes. So with this button, you look out on your wing, I push it down. See the speed brakes come out? Whoa. So they li they're literally speed brakes. You can feel the difference. So I'll put it back in. What? Flying right over Falcon Field in Mesa. Yes, sir. Do you want to fly it for a bit? Oh. Can't Dude. say no to that. All yours, baby. Whoa. Yeah. Play around with it. Do a couple turns, climbs, whatever you want. Just if you get too close to some airspace, I'll tell you. That's uh, Mesa, so just if anything, come this way. But not too far, because then you got the Phoenix Bravo. So we're in like this kind of a bit of a corridor. Whoa. He's a little sluggish, doesn't fly like a bonanza. Up to the right, just a hair. All right. Just to stay out of there. Chandler Tower, Mooney 252 is contained. It's about 9 to the north, 2,900 with Quebec. Mooney 252 is contained. Chandler Tower, I don't. Just skimming uh, main. Mooney 2 is contained. Make a 3 mile straight in runway 22 right. 3 mile straight in 22 right. Uh, 2 is contained. All right, so what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you pitch up. So we can bleed off some airspeed, and then I'll have you put the gear down. I'm going to put the speed brakes out too to help us slow right. down, so you'll feel it kind of want yeah. to nose down. So this is a good pitch attitude. We're uh, we're bleeding our speed off. All right. Okay, and when you're ready, here's the gear. Just pull it out and down. Out, down. All right. So now it's coming down. Oh. And we'll get a green light down there and a gear down here. You see the airport right here. This uh, little brown spot. Yeah. 22 Whiskey Tango, runway 22 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 22 right, Whiskey Tango. So if you want to kind of line up for the runway, so a bit of come 22 Whiskey Tango, start left yeah, turn to NSF final for runway 22 right for traffic on down one. 22 Whiskey Tango. So come left a bit. A bit more. A little more, yep. Just to get out of these guys' way. Just kind of parallel, or yeah, parallel with this road until we're aligned with the runway. All right. And then I'll trim you out a little bit. SK204, continue down with number two, following Mooney, turn in a three mile final, report traffic in sight. Okay, I'm going to get rid of your I'm speed brakes. Wing, uh, right. So let's make sure we're trimmed out. So let go. Perfect, we're trimmed out. You should be able to let go and nothing happens. I mean, I'm going to give you the rest of your flaps, so pitch up a bit just so we can get uh, the right. speed. Okay, here they come and start your turn, line up at the runway. Here, I'll trim right. you out here. Set big inside, Mosquito 204, number two. Ski 204, number two, following the Mooney, now approaching two mile final, runway 22 right, clear, touch and go. You see the runway we're landing two on the right, right one here? Okay. Right, two, right, two, right, two, right. All right, just aim for the end of the runway there. I'll trim you up just a little more. I got your power. If you All get right. slow, I'll let you know. You're looking fantastic. Got a green light, gears down, nose up a little bit, you're a little right. low. That's good, perfect. All right, now just aim for those, aim for the end of the runway, aim for the numbers. Ooh, a little bit of wind coming off those buildings. All right, you're looking fantastic. Power here. Left, there we go, get on center line. Oh, you're doing fine. OK, 
Okay, nose down just a bit to get on there. There we go. Okay, power's coming off. And we're going to slowly bring the nose back as we get close to the ground. Four, eight. Dude, <laughs> killing it. All right, I got the brakes. Nicely done. Uh, Two whiskey tango, turn right at Fox Rock, contact ground 124.4. Two whiskey tango, thank you. Ground 252 whiskey tango is clear, going to the terminal. 252 whiskey tango, channel ground, as you cross taxiway alpha, and then come through row four of the hangars. Okay, cross taxiway here in uh, row four, two whiskey tango. All right, vlog, we're back in business. We're on the ground. That was so much fun. That's like literally the first time I've ever blown that much and helped me with the landing, and we did it. Good, you killed it. Woo. Always cool seeing what hidden gems are in the hangars. Yeah, they got tons of hangar space. Here. Yeah. That's it. All right. Wow. Boom. Welcome to Chandler. Well, Christian, how was that? His uh, his mic, we couldn't hear him, but he could hear us, so you couldn't hear him talking, but what was your reaction? I was just enjoying taking it all <laughs> back here. You know, view the whole panel, see everything going on. And Sweet. Uh, trying to keep up with everything. In perfect timing, there's Austin. Heck yeah. What's up, let's dude? Go. Boom. All right, guys. So, obviously, as you just saw, we made it to Chandler Airport. And now we're going to meet up with Austin, Owen's friend that he was talking about earlier this video, who flies helicopters. Now, this video with all the helicopter action will be going up next video or the video after that. So, it's going to be a future video. Otherwise, this video would be way too long. It'd be like 40 minutes. So, I'm going to break them up into two videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop back in the Mooney and fly back to Scottsdale, which was later in the day. And Christian's in the co-pilot seat. Let's get back to it. And here we are back in the Mooney. So we're headed back up to Scottsdale. Maybe, if you guys are lucky, we're gonna go for a touch and go at Sky Harbor, which would be absolutely crazy. Oh, but uh, that would be wild. Owen wants the content and the story and, the, and some shots from his buddy who actually is at Sky Harbor who can get some cool pictures of us. So yeah. we'll see. Ground Mooney 252 is continuous at the terminal information uniform request, request runway 22 right. And if able, like to do a uh, full stop tax back at Sky Harbor and then landing uh, Scottsdale. Mooney calling Chandler Ground, uh, say your call sign again and location. Mooney 252 Whiskey Tango is at the terminal. Mooney 252 Whiskey Tango Chandler Ground runway 22 right taxi via November loop. Okay, November 22 right uh, to Whiskey Tango. Chandler, this information, Victor's current 125088, altimeter 29076. Money 2 Whiskey Tango, I'll just give you an early frequency change to call Phoenix Approach to request uh, with your request. 2 Whiskey Tango, copy. Stand by, uh, stand by. it should be 123.7. Uh, if you don't get an answer on 23.7, then 124.9. Okay, copy all, 2 Whiskey Tango. All right, here is November, so we'll just kind of cut over here. Airspeed's alive. Get on the center line here. Watch out, birdies. Phoenix Mooney 252 Whiskey Tango. Mooney 252 Tango. Hey, it's 252 Whiskey Tango just off Chandler. Like to request a full stop tax back at Sky Harbor, then be a far to Scottsdale. Ooh, uh, rough timing on that one. Mooney uh, 252 Whiskey Tango, stand by. Okay. It's, uh, we can also do a low approach, whatever whatever's easiest for you. I don't think there's much of a difference there for us. Number two is Katango Phoenix Altimeters 2976, squawk 0341. 0341, two is Katango. Number two is Katango's radar contact three miles northwest of Chandler. Proceed southwest and uh, hold over Firebird Lake. Okay, southwest hold over the lake, two is Katango. Uh, no. Oh, there it is, okay. So they're going to hold us until there's a gap and then we're just going to shoot in real quick. Awesome. Whiskey 
Tango over Firebird Lake. Just uh, just hold your location over Firebird Lake and expect at least a three zero thirty minute delay. Ooh, yeah, that's that's not going to work. Can we uh, fly over the top of Phoenix and go to Scottsdale? November two Whiskey Tango. Are you familiar with the area or the uh, the, the west transition? Uh, negative two Whiskey Tango. For two Whiskey Tango, Roger. Proceed uh, southwest, and you're clear to enter Bravo airspace. Climb and maintain five thousand. Okay, clear to Bravo up to five thousand two Whiskey Tango. Number two, Whiskey Tango, turn right, heading a 320 vectors over Sky Harbor. Heading 320 to Whiskey Tango. All right, at least we're going in the right direction now. Moody Wood 2, Whiskey Tango, we're leaving Phoenix Bravo Airspace, proceed to Scottsdale and remain the frequency. Okay, head to Scottsdale with you to Whiskey Tango. Can we continue our descent? Uh, Moody 2, Whiskey Tango, I'll take the discretion. Thank you. There's our ground speed, 178. Awesome. We need two whiskey tango, remaining present beacon code, and contact Scott to our 119.9. Keep the code 19.9, two whiskey tango, see ya. Alright, so when you're ready, it's all yours. Go oh, grab on. And you see Scottsdale right there. We're gonna try on a left down one unless they tell us otherwise. Scottsdale Tower, Booney 252 whiskey tango's near Camelback Mountain and Bound Sierra. Booney 252 whiskey tango, Scott's Tower, make straight in runway 3, clear to land. Straight in runway, runway 3, clear to land, two whiskey tango. Let me take it real quick. Okay, yep. We need to line us up for that. Yeah. What I'll do here. Air brakes up. Yep. And, you know, another brake that people don't know about is the landing gear. Here, yeah. I'm just going to drop the flaps all the way. All right. So I'll give it back to you. We're landing straight in this way. Yep. And we need to keep this descent going pretty good, but we can't okay. cross this the end of the white line. So this is. Okay. Just keep an eye on your speed. Yep. And vertical speed. Don't worry about the vertical speed, just make sure you don't pass this white line. So if you start to go close gotcha. to it, just pull the nose back. And we, if you got to do some S turns to lose some altitude, that's fine. Up just a little bit, there you go. You're right on there, we go. I'm slowly working the power back too. Yeah, those speed brakes are, This that's what they're for, a situation like this. So handy. Okay, we're back on glide slope, so now I'm going to uh, release the speed brakes, so they're going back down. And just aim it for the end of the runway down there. Let go real quick. All right, so we're a little, a little bit back. Boom, perfect. You're at, you're in trim. All right, come back. There we go. Getting a little low, so oop. back this way a little bit. Doing good. A little gusty out here. Okay. Power. Sun Devil 99 ready okay, to go. Okay, power's off, and we're just going to hold it off. Sun Devil 99, Scott Starroger waiting out probably. Hold it. Back, back, back. Oh, look at that. Oh, baby. <laughs> flaps are coming up. Cow flaps are open. Wait, two is the tango support. Uh, transient, uh, two is the tango. Wait, two is the tango, turn left and L tax, transient via alpha monogram 1-6. Monogram and uh, left turn alpha 6, two is the tango. Welcome to Lima Tango, can cross runway. Alright. Make sure to clear the ground. Clear the ground. ground, and we'll just pull ahead to parking. And the ramp is a lot emptier. That's nice. Alright, Chris, we made it to Scottsdale. How about it? Wow, we did. And um, that was yeah, uh, interesting there at the end because we were expecting to go a little past the runway and turn base and final and everything. But then we got a straight in approach. So then in this Mooney, we saw this Mooney, we had to bleed off so much speed there and get down uh, to where we needed to be really quick. So that's where the speed brake, air brakes, uh, spoilers kind of really helped. And then um, yeah, we were up to 100 and 178 knots. We were up to dropping we were, that gear oh, and everything. That's almost that's like 200 miles an hour. That's crazy. We were we were crossing Phoenix just like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We literally just flew over Sky Harbor, and then it's like, you see that? That's Scottsdale. We got to get down. That yeah. was fast. So, well, Owen showed us all around his plane. It's time we show him all around our cars real quick before yeah. this event at Jet Set Magazine uh, a little later tonight. So let's hit it. Let's do it. Here Stokey. we go. Stokey. We did it. We did it. We're back on the ground. Let's go play with some cars. Temperatures here and uh, <laughs> flip on shoot. avionics. Da, 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 da. You go from a thousand switches to not one button. Yeah, this is crazy. Everything's on the screen. All right, guys. So while we're headed to the warehouse, um, we'll rattle off a few questions. So when did 
you get into aviation and why? I've been into aviation since I was very young. It started just as, you know, kind of watching airplanes as they went by and uh -huh. going out to the airport and watching them take off and land. Then I took a, a small plane ride with this organization through EAA called Young Eagles. It's the Young Eagles program and they, uh, uh -huh. pilots volunteer their time and cool. take kids ages 8 to 17 up for a flight, about 30 minutes and it's very hands-on and I was 14 at the time and since then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get my pounce license. So Sweet. saved every penny I earned and uh, yeah. Start started uh, flight lessons and I sold it on my 16th birthday. And uh, a year later, got my license just after I turned 17. And so soloing before you even get your driver's like like to uh, drive a car, you can fly yeah. a plane before yeah, you can drive a car. Exactly. People don't realize that it's That's pretty crazy. Right. Oh, yeah. we're getting a little green light here. We'll do one little launch. Okay. Too late. <laughs> wow. Yes. Holy cow. So, ever found yourself in any sticky situations? I'm sure all pilots have. But do you have any crazy stories? Thankfully, not too many. Mm -hmm. um, I just have one that sticks out. Long story short, I'm coming into land at an uncontrolled airport, and at uncontrolled airports, there's no control tower, so pilots rely on talking to each other to maintain right. separation. Yeah. And uh, one guy was on the wrong frequency, so he was probably talking, but he wasn't transmitting to anybody because oh, we couldn't hear him. So I'm about to land. I'm about 500 feet off the ground. Someone on the ground warns me. I look up. Sure enough, there's another plane 50 feet above me about to about to land on top of me. So Holy cow. If, he, if the guy on the ground didn't say anything, we would have collided within three or four seconds. We were just happened to be two Bonanzas, same aircraft type, Holy both A36s cow. coming in to land. And he never saw me the whole time. I dove down and flew parallel with him and he continued to land. He had no idea we were there. So that was my closest call. Wow. And that's, you know, he was so close I could read his tail number. So sure okay. enough, I Google, it. I Google it when I get home and I call him. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that was... Wow. So speaking of planes and tail numbers, favorite plane? Do you have a favorite? People love to ask us our favorite cars. And it's like, well, it's harder right. than that. But any ones that stick out? Favorite plane? Beechcraft Bonanza. Right, for a variety of reasons, they're just they fly so nicely. They're so responsive. You can do so much with it. You can throw in, you know, four people, bags full fuel, and go 1,500 oh, miles. They're oh, absolutely wow. incredible. And tall people can fit in them. Tall well. people can fit in there. Right, so I'm, comfortable. I'm, I'm liking that. Yeah. Yeah. How about your your favorite flying experience? Something just smooth sailing oh, yeah. and location. Beautiful. Yeah, well, that's a hard one. I, I enjoyed flying around the Florida Keys. Oh, that wow. was a lot of fun. That was pretty recently, actually, with Matt and his Bonanza, and then we took the TBM down there. That's oh, a lot yeah. of fun, just because it's a different environment from what I'm used to. But honestly, flying back home, you can't beat it. California. Oh, yeah. How is that? I'm sure people want oh, the Bay gosh. Area, the congestion, the amount of planes there. Like, you gotta be it, on your game. It, it takes seems, some like... getting used to. It's a good place to learn to fly because yeah. you gotta be, you gotta know your airspace, you gotta be good at air mm -hmm. traffic control communications, a lot of mm -hmm. traffic, so you gotta be good at spotting airplanes. Mm -hmm. But that's a great place to learn, great place to fly in. Um, the, you know, you got everything from, you got cities, to oceans, to forests, to mountains, to yeah. desert. California has it all, so there's nothing like flying out there. It never gets old. Cool, and your job, so you're already working in the aviation industry, is yeah. that where you wanna so, stay? You like I'm definitely job? gonna stay here. I gotta graduate college first, I'm still going to school, but uh, on the side I do some ferry flying, which is why I'm here now. I'm ferrying an airplane back uh -huh. home. Uh, that's for the aircraft sales company, so I'm highly involved with them, and then I just do some charter flying on the side, flying you know, some smaller. Oh, airplanes, so. that's so cool. Staying busy. You get to do what you love and you get paid for it. Uh, like, can't be can't happy beat that. Wow, and yeah, we're all similar age. We're all super yeah. young and uh, yeah, super exciting. Well, congrats on all the success so far and thank you so much for bringing us along. Literally, he just hit us up a couple days ago. Like, <laughs> yo, you're going to be big this weekend. We're like, heck yeah. <laughs> sign, us, up. sign us up. We're down. Oh, my and pleasure, guys. It all worked out. That was a blast. Well, all right, what's your favorite car? 430 is badass. Yes, the Ferrari, and we haven't even started it yet. Wait till we, wait till we get ripping it, then you'll really fall in love. But the McLaren's got doors that go up. The Lamborghini's got twin turbos, you know? Tough decisions, they're all good. I think we need to race the green car against. What would, what would compete with it? You're talking, in half a mile, it's going 225 miles an hour. That's like a fighter jet level at that point. If anything point. hit me 225 at the end of the runway, 
And that's a half mile, I said. Oh. A full mile, you're talking 260. Like, That'll blow the movie away, man. All right. Give me a fighter jet. Let's race them. We'll race them to 250. See who wins. That would be close. Comment down below who you think would win. But anyway, guys, we're headed off to the event. We're looking a little better because we got invited over just right around the corner at uh, Scottsdale Airport. So we're yeah. going to do that. And then you're flying back to California tomorrow morning. That's the plan. Boom. What a fun day it was. Thank you so much once again. Be sure to follow him on Instagram. You still know YouTube yet? Or do you got a YouTube name? Not yet. Just the Instagram. He posts all the time. His stories are fun to watch. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, that was our first time. Christian, you loved yeah. it today. I mean, oh my goodness, what an adventure. All thanks to aviation. You can only really get it that way to be. You, you were in Texas earlier and off to California later, so it's. Yeah, uh, literally, you were in Texas this morning? It's morning. Texas this morning, Arizona, yeah. Chandler, Scottsdale, all over the place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below your favorite part. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, John. See ya. Yeah.